Hello children. Welcome to our radio learning program for today. This is one of the radio programs produced by Rwanda Education Board in partnership with Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda, IEE. My name is Teacher Gerald and I will be teaching Primary 4 Science. Children, as always, get your pens and notebooks for taking notes ready, doing exercises and homework that you will be given. After getting the writing materials ready, may you sit next to the radio, please. Then tune it to be loud enough and be ready to listen to it keenly, as well as participating in radio learning activities. Dear parents and guardians, we are happy that you have taken this long journey to support your child. You have supported the radio learning program since we started with the outbreak of coronavirus disease. We would urge you to continue being part of the child's learning by moving close to the child and follow up what they are doing and support them where necessary. Thank you. Now, children, let us stand up to have a warm-up song before we start learning. We are going to stand up to have a warm-up song. Uh -huh. I will sing the song once as you listen. Then join me to sing for the second time and the third time. Is that clear? Good. It is a song that we have ever sung. And it is good. So, I will see you moving and then showing that you are great and you are wonderful. Good. The song goes. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fit. I'm great. I am wonderful. I'm fit. I'm great. I am wonderful. Children, can you join me? And then we sing. Good. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fit. I'm great. I am wonderful. I'm fit. I'm great. I am wonderful. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Let us sing again. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fit, I'm great, I am wonderful. I'm fit, I'm great, I am wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Oh, that is great, that is great. Okay, children, can you remember what we learned about last time. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Good. Last time, we learned about defects of eyes and their corrections. Is that right? Good. Now, can you mention some of the eye defects that we talked about? Great, great, that's so good. We said that there are four types of eye defects, and these are short sightedness or myopia, long sightedness or hypermetropia, presbyopia, 
and astigmatism. I repeat, short-sightedness or myopia, long-sightedness or hypermetropia, presbyopia, and lastly, astigmatism. Is that correct? Good. Now, my friends, can you also tell how to prevent the eye defects? Can you also remember and tell how to prevent the eye defects? Great. Number one. Eat a healthy diet that includes fruits and green leafy vegetables. Eat a healthy diet that includes fruits and green leafy vegetables. Number two is avoid smoking. Avoid smoking. Number three, we said, when you are outdoors, wear sunglasses that block sun harmful ultraviolet rays. Number four, we said, keep at least a distance of 25 centimeters when you are reading and watching TV. Number five, we said, have a regular checkup of your eyes by an eye doctor or optician. Are we together, friends? Marvelous, marvelous. Now, I want to take you through some of the words and expressions that we have used in this unit of sensory organs. Do you get that? I want to take you through some of the words and expressions that we have used in this unit of sensory organs. Do you understand? Great. Number one, auditory. Auditory. The word auditory is related to the sense of hearing. Number two, dummies. Dummies is the middle layer of the skin. Dummies is the la middle layer of the skin. We have also seen epidermis. Epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. Epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. Number four, hygiene. Hygiene is the practice that you do to keep things healthy. Number five, hypodermis. Hypodermis is the bottom layer of the skin. Hypodermis is the bottom layer of the skin. We also saw lens. A lens is a piece of glass with curved side for concentrating or dispersing light rays. Uh -huh. We also talked about motor nerves. Motor nerves, a nerve that carries feedback from brain to the sensory organs. A nerve that carries feedback from the brain to the sensory organs. Then we also saw something called scald, S-C-A-L-D, scald, a skin injury caused by wet heat. Then we also called sense, we use the word sense, to become aware of something is sense. Number 10, we said sensory organs. They are organs which help us to see hear, smell, taste, or feel. Then, sinuses. Sinuses. That is air-filled cavities inside face and skull. Number 12, we said tumor. Tumor. That is a swelling of a part of the body. It's called a tumor. Number 13, we talked about wounds. And what is an wound? An injury that breaks the skin. Can you remember that we used those words? Very good. Now, my friends, these are the sentences and statements that we used in this unit. The sentences and statements that we used. 
1. Write them. Organs which help us to see, hear, smell, taste, and feel are called sensory organs. The eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin are our sensory organs. Number B, we said, skin is the outermost covering of our body. It is the sensory organ for touch and feeling. C. If we do not clean our skin properly, diseases like ringworms and eczema will attack our skin. Some common diseases include ringworms, scabies, leprosy, and eczema. Number D, we said, common cold and sinusitis are some common nose diseases. Common cold and sinusitis are some common nose diseases. Number E, some common ear diseases include hearing loss and deafness. Mm -hmm. We said also, in short-sightedness, a person can see nearby objects very well, but cannot see objects that are far away. Then, we said in long-sightedness, a person can see distant objects clearly, but not near objects. That is fine. My friends, today we will be doing revision exercise to remind us of what we have learned about the eye. Is that clear? Good. As usual, get a clean page and on top write revision exercise and get ready. Mm -hmm. You will clearly write the question as I read, then you write the answer below every question and we continue like that until we finish. Is that clear? Perfect. Are you ready? Ready, go. Question one. Organs which help us to see, hear, smell, taste, and feel are called dash. A, breathing organs. B, sensory organs. C, reproductive organs. D, none of these. Can you choose one? A, breathing organs. B, sensory organs. C, reproductive organs. D, none of these. Wow. The right answer is sensory organs. Question two. Does is the sensory organ for touch and feel. Dash is the sensory organ for touch and feel. A, the ear. B, the eye. C, the skin. D, the nose. Which one of those is the sensory organ for touch and feel? A, the ear. B, the eye. C, the skin. D, the nose. Wow, the right answer is C, the skin. Question three, dash is the sensory organ for sight. Dash is the sensory organs for sight. Number A, the ear. Number B, the eye. Number C, the skin. Number D, the nose. A, the ear, B, the eye, C, the skin, and D, the nose. Which is the sensory organ for sight there? Marvelous. The answer is B, the eye. Question four. Dash is the sensory organ of taste. Dash is the sensory organ of taste. Taste. Number A. Are we there? The ear. B. The eye. C. The skin. D. 
the tongue, the ear, B, the eye, C, the skin, D, the tongue. The answer is D, the tongue. The tongue is the sensory organ of taste. Question 5. Dash is the sensory organ of hearing. Dash is the sensory organ of hearing. Number A, the ear. B, the eye. C, the skin. D, the nose. A, the ear. B, the eye. C, the skin. D, the nose. Good. The answer is A, the ear. Question 6. Dash is the sensory organ for smell. Dash is the sensory organ for smell. Number A, the ear. B, eye. C, the skin. D, the nose. Which one is the sensory organ for smell? A, the ear. B, the eye. C, the skin. And D, the nose. Great. The right answer is D, the nose. Now, my friends, you will either write true or false after every statement. Do you understand? In this next number, you are going to write true or false. Question 1. Sensory organs are connected to brain through the nerves. Sensory organs are connected to brain through the nerves. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Uh -huh. Question 2. Tongue enables us to balance our body. The tongue enables us to balance our body. Is it true or false? Good. False. Because it is not the tongue to enable us to balance our body. It is false. Uh -huh. Question 3. The inner ear has three tiny holes. The inner ear has three tiny holes. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Then, question four. Retina is the outer layer of the eye. Retina is the outer layer of the eye. True or false? Great. The answer is false. Question five. Short-sightedness can be corrected using a convex lens. Short-sightedness can be corrected using a convex lens. Is it true or false? Good. The answer is false because short-sightedness is corrected by using concave lens. By using concave lens. Are we together, my friends? Very, very good. Now, as we are ending the lesson today, I would ask you to make sure that you come with your textbooks set primary four or printed pages of 257 up to 270. We will refer to these important pages in our next lesson. Do you understand that? Marvelous, marvelous. My friends, that is going to be the end of our revision exercise and the end of sensory organs. Till we meet in the next lesson, bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time.